Hey, Nathan here, helping you become a better jungler. We've got another episode in my series, my new series, Zero Death Jungling. We're going to be covering EVE this game. This series is all about games that I feel like I play really, really well. Not playing for KDA, but we are really taking smart decisions, waiting for the enemy team to make mistakes, and learning how to close out games very, very cleanly. So, game plan win condition this game. Team comps here, as you can see, we have an Urgot, Zed, Ezreal, Zillion against a Darius, Fiddlesticks, Akali, Jin, and Thresh. So this is a little bit different, this one. So as Eve, we're always obviously considering ourselves as the win condition. But I'm less thinking about my team and more thinking about the enemy team here. And what I'm most afraid of for the enemy team is the enemy Thresh and Jin getting out of control. Ezreal Zillion is going to be very weak early. All it takes is like one hook from Thresh. He could throw like five hooks. All he takes is one hook, and they're pretty much going to get a kill. You know, set up with Jin. So I'm very scared of bot lane getting out of control. So I want to potentially help it. Um, my bot lane has very good scaling, but I, I if I can protect and stabilize in the, them in the early game, that's ideal. That's best case scenario for them. So I'm not thinking of making bot win. They're not going to win even if I do like one or two ganks. They're still going to easily die to a Thresh Jin. It's more or less like protecting and stabilizing them so they get away, get um, they don't get dominated in the early game, and then they have, you know, sort of free scale, and they're going to hide out scale a Jin Thresh. Mid is obviously very vulnerable here. Double Assassin, Ignite, you know, we've got an Akali into Zed, so it can always look there. And Top's also a pretty easy kill as well. So I say I've got a lot of options here, um, but in the early game, my initial game plan here is to protect bot. Not so much kill bot, protect bot, you know, from dives, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to be doing a Red Krugs Raptors look bot gank. Do a very quick gank and actually decide to concede um, potentially my top camps. The thing why you can potentially do this as well is even though against sort of weaker junglers that are really bad at doing blue and gromp, you know, things like Fiddlesticks, even Eve in a way, um, these like traditional talisman junglers from last um, season, these champions don't really want to go and go and take your blue and grump if you're trying to do something on the bot side of the map. So it sort of gives me some sort of protection as well why I feel like I can go for a red, crap, red Krugs Raptors um, and then look for a bot gank. So let's now jump into the game and let's see the execution of this game plan and how I get an early lead and close out the game. So to start off here, you're going to hear me come up with my game plan, my early path in, my win condition that I'm identifying. So let's take a listen. All right, so I'm instantly looking at my Zillion Ezreal here. I mean, Ezreal Zillion is going to be great into champs like Darius, even threshing away, but I need to make sure that they're not hard losing bot lane in the early game, which is pretty terrifying and very hard for me to do as Eve. Um... So you know what I'm going to do here? I'm actually going to do a Red Krugs Raptors loop round. And um, actually, I need to award this loop round and then literally go for Thrash. I'm just going to kill Thrash. Because they're going to be playing pretty, pretty, pretty aggressively. And I'm not going to be too afraid of losing my top camps because Fiddlesticks, he doesn't really, he's not too good at these doing these two camps. So I'm going to tell my team a level 3 gank bot. They're not going to expect it at all here. So this is the key thing, them not expecting it. If they see my bot lane leash for me, and then I level three, and then I gank bot at the time that I'm going to, they're gonna be quite taken off guard. They won't even ward early. Um, this is probably more relevant in higher elo, because even lower elo players, I mean, supports and stuff, they're not thinking about where you start. They're probably like, oh, Eve started red. He could probably gank me, he probably can't. But higher elo you go, the more you're like, okay, he's probably gonna be passing towards top side. But I'm gonna do the complete opposite. And then again, why I feel like I can I can also get away with this is like, I'm not going to know where Fiddlestick starts. He can start either blue or red, but I'm not too afraid of him taking these camps. And it's actually fine. I will lose these camps for getting my bot lane, not ahead, but again, stabilizing my bot lane. I mean, I guess I'm getting them ahead, but they're probably still going to die anyway, um, even, you know, later on. So, you know, if I come, come down there and burn the summoner spells on Thresh and Jin, that's even worse for me as well, because that really reduces their threat to help me stabilize again. So again, I want to emphasize here the them not expecting the gank because Eve's traditionally not known as like an early gank champion like a Zin Zhao or something like that. That's the way I'm technically playing here. The guy says we can't 5v5. Hmm. Maybe in a way he's right. No, we can, man. We can, definitely can. Ooh. The cheese in. 
I mean, fiddlestick salt's gonna be essential. Ah, oh, fuck it, just leash me here. I need a leash, guys. Alright, not the hottest leash, but this is still okay. And Fiddle 6 is done leashless, so... He can do leashless... Let's make sure I'm looking bot. Okay, so why I say there, make sure we're still looking bot, because I need to know whether I can bot's gonna be gankable or not. Um, if I'm like, you know, doing raptors and then they actually push into the tower, I'm going to be like, okay, well, like, I probably can't really dive. You might, I'm not going to dive bot either. So I need to constantly be looking ready to adapt my path potentially. Um, so I'm actually pretty surprised that, you know, Thresh and Zealand, uh, Ezreal and Zealand are actually playing really aggressive here in the lane and they're poking, which definitely made sense. But um, I guess Thresh is not really having much presence in the lane at the moment. Actually, what am I doing here? I need to go, I still need to level up. Oh yeah, so you're about to see an incredibly butchered um, Eve clear. You're meant to be doing uh, E, leveling up E, not W secondary. So this is a very slow red start clear. Um, just bear with me with that. That's not what I want to focus on um, for this game. Ah, uh, E second. I very rarely do this red clear. Alright, need to get rid of that so I can hit this. Okay, so bot's actually hard pushing right now. So I say that I barely do this clear because I only ever like to red start on Eve unless I have a very specific plan. Whether it's, you know, to potentially do a level 3 gank bot like I'm doing here. But other than that, I love to just do that standard really fast blue clear that I, you know, I made my, my Eve clear video last week or so on. So that's why I, I'm a bit rusty with this clear. I don't know why I've got point in W. See how slow I do Raptors here because I don't have a point in E. So I'm not going to be able to do much, unfortunately. And they die here as well. So this is probably worst case scenario for me. I can't really impact that at all. So why I say this is absolutely worst case scenario, and this is, watch how I'm adapting. It's like, okay, I can't do it. My Red Krogs Raptors plan is out the window. Um, they've literally pushed in and they've died. So I couldn't help them. They've died. It's going to start getting out of control. They've zillions burnt summoner spells and stuff. Like this is worst case scenario for us in the early game. Our game plan, we're going to have to start making some, some pretty quick adjustments to it. So let's see the way I navigate through that now. <clears throat> Not what I want to happen whatsoever. I'm gonna save my smart for this crab. Fiddle six might be here. Fiddle six is placed a ward there. Oh, fiddle six is here. It's level four. I'm gonna one shot this crab. We can go for a double crab. All right, we're all good. We just back off here. Let's relax and go for the double crab. Thresh is going to be roaming here. This is interesting. All right, so I probably should be tabbing just to check anyway, but I'm not tabbing here because Fiddle Six is level four, so I know he's 100% just done an absolute full clear. So I know that all his camps are off the map right now. Think about my my decision to go for this bot crab. I can't. How can I get this bot crab? I have zero priority in bot or mid. So this is pretty ridiculous. Anyway, let's just keep going, but this is, well, I should be able to identify that much quicker. All right, and he's just DC'd, so there's no way we're gonna contest that. So we just back off here, and let's just do our Krogs. 
Krugs, Raptors. Let's do another full clear, actually. Wait for these raptors to come up. It's fun to wait like this. Oh, they're playing a really aggressive bot here. Fiddle six is here as well. Okay, I think I actually need to help this. Excellent. Well, let's just reset and create an efficient path down back bot. Oh my god. Alright, so this is really ideal. This is a really good base for me. I'm basing on a lot of gold. Um, and right now, again, like, look at how composed I am in the early game. I'm happy to give up crab. My bot lane's losing. I know my mid lane's, everyone's getting solo killed. Like, where we just need to stay composed and be like, okay. Cool. Even if I couldn't get a kill bot there, it's like, okay, we just reset and we just doing another clear. There's going to be opportunities that will present themselves throughout the game. We need to make sure we're just making the best decisions given the current information we have. Two of these and go straight top here. Maybe we should have helped them push this in a little bit. It's alright, no, it's alright. It's okay if they die again. It's all good. They're like even bot, which is great. All I want them to do is go even. Oh, okay, I need to go straight to these raptors here. Alright, so notice how quickly, just bam I know instantly right now, his raptors and krugs must be up. If his now bot lane at this time, you know, so I mean, if you think about it right now, this is the path he's done. So it's like, okay, he did this. I got the crab from him. He went bot. He got that crab. Bit of a kerfuffle bot here. Um, and then he re he reset and then he went straight back bot. So these camps has been more way more than two minutes. So I know these are a hundred percent up. Really important to identify here what camps are up and what's not. I don't even need to tab. I just know because just the fact that he he just showed bot just then at this time. Oh, it's so close to dying there. Oh, isn't it flash? So it's flash, it's crazy. So close to level six here. They want me to push in this other wave. I really just want to do crab here. Again, we're rocking and rolling. We're all good. Alright, so now the priority is just clear camps, camps, camps. He's sticking around, wow. Alright, Fiddlestick's probably going to be here. So, oh. Have to do the backwards ult there. This game is just absolute chaos, man. Alright, so... Again, I'm just like, I'm just relaxing right now. We, even though we're right now, I mean, look at the state of our team. We're literally three and six. I have all the kills on our team. 
Um, we, as long as you're, again, have zero deaths as Eve right now, like my CS is still pretty good. I have 50 CS at seven minutes here. I'm in such a good position to still carry this game. It doesn't matter how far behind your team is, you can always carry games as Eve. Um, as long as, you know, you're staying very strong yourself, you got the experience in gold lead. I mean, I'm pretty far ahead of Fiddlesticks, even though we're actually far, same level. Like, I have all my bot camps up, ready to go. So, again, we're in a very good carry position here. Let's take a look at how I look to close out this game cleanly. And he isn't... Don't think he's taking my Raptors. So we're all good here. So we just keep relaxing. I actually want to start playing around top here. Okay, literally as I say that, he's actually just killed. I want to get this Rift Hell really bad. So we're going to create an efficient jungle path around top side. So look how quickly in my, my game plan, my initial rank game plan, it was like stabilized bot. Um, in my mind, bot's a little bit stabilized. I actually have five plates up on bot here as well. Um, I think I do anyway. And now I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to get Rift Held. I'm going to be playing around, you know, Urgot. More of the fact, not so much playing around Urgot, making Urgot a win condition. It's more the fact that Darius is a free kill. Darius is very easy to kill for us as Eve with a full charm. He's very immobile, you know, especially with it, without his summoner spells. I think he's taking Ghost this game, which makes him a little bit more tricky to gank. So right now I'm creating an efficient path around top, which is going to look like Raptors, Red, Krugs, Reset, and then spend all my time topside. While I'm topside, Fiddlesticks won't be able to take anything bot side because I've just done the camps. Again, bot lane in my eyes, like, we're all good. We're all good. They haven't lost super hard. we still got five plates on that tower. It's about towers here. That's what I'm really thinking about. Alright, so definitely don't want to help this. There's no reason for me to fight right now. Oh, I guess there is now. I'm just going to scare him off. Oh, oh, be very careful. Just scare him off. Don't want to fight. No fighting. I don't care about this at all. I need to reset. I'm going to get the... Cannot afford this item yet because it's so expensive. So notice how disciplined I am now. I understand I just shouldn't fight that. So I'm, instantly right now I'm thinking, like I don't have ult, I have so much gold in inventory and fighting bot is not how I win this game. I win this game by getting Rift Herald and killing top again. So like I, I, I was like sort of, you know, you don't want to completely let your team die. If you're right there, you can maybe help, but I'm ready to back off very quickly if the situation starts going south. But it's so important to identify that because a lot of other players I would say, it's like they will forget about their inventory. Like, oh, like a fight's happening. Like, I'm Eve. Like, go in there. But it's like, we don't have ult. We've got a lot of gold inventory. And it's not, even if we get the kills there, it's not going to help us win the game at all. I'm going to, uh, yeah, we'll get that. All right, I'm just going to go top here. I'm going to kill Darius. So let's kill Darius. And then we're going to rift out. All my camps top side are up, but I'm doing pretty good for farm right now. I just want to pressure top. All right, he's going to back off right now. He's got no flash. So I always get asked on my channel, people always ask, Nathan, when do I like stop doing my camps? Like when do I ditch efficiency? So I have the luxury to ditch efficiency right now to go for a kill, even though my top camps are up and usually you want to be doing them as Eve because I'm pretty far ahead right now. I'm 3-0 and and I have 62 CS. I can go for this kill and then do another like full clear or something. But if I was further behind here, I was like, okay, I got to I got to keep clearing my camps. So that's why being ahead is so important as Eve is like I can have the luxury to ditch efficiency to go for more impact plays. If I kill Darius here, then I can do Rift Hold and then clear my camps. So really want to emphasize that as well. This is sort of a situation where I thought about okay, I can skip my camps. It was a conscious decision, not like, oh, I'm just going to go top just for the sake of going top because it's a free kill. It's like, I have the option to do go top or do my camps. I'm choosing consciously to do top because again, I'm a little bit pretty, I'm doing pretty well for CSM farm right now at nine minutes. Oh, he's not backing off. Interesting. Okay. Yep, we're good. So he backs off here. I do Wolves Blue Gromp. He'll be back on that wave and then we're going to kill him. This Thresh has been doing a lot of roams here. Fiddlesticks is going to potentially alt. I think that was just a flash over the wall, was it? Oh, okay, interesting. Fiddle's actually going for his red buff now. We can actually... Oh, no, this is control water, I think, still. And I don't have ult right now. Oh, he's actually full health. Let's see what he does here.
absolute free kill. Patience. It was the patience. You see, like right there, I could have easily, like before he did the crab, I could have like engaged on him. But then he would just silence me, fear me, and run away. But he was fully committed. I waited for him to commit to the crab. He was obviously going to do the crab. Such an important mindset. Wait for them to commit to something, and then you strike as Eve. Make sure you're killing people in their most vulnerable state. He was very vulnerable there. He used his silence. He was basically a free kill. So patience, such a key aspect of Eve, but also in League of Legends and jungling in general. So yeah, just patience, real good. Take this Rift Tail, which is what we wanted, and I definitely, I, if I could break mid would be ideal. I'm just gonna have to let top die, unfortunately. Just wait for me, ideally. All right, and then bot's pretty chaotic here, so I am going to keep farming right now. Again, just making sure we're going to get as strong as possible. Because whenever you kill Rift Girl like that, they're very obviously around. You know, like, Darius knows that, like, I can potentially come gank him. So, I s what I mean there by that is that whenever you get Rift Girl or even a dragon... Enemy laners instantly in the back of their minds play a little bit cautiously because it's like, okay, the enemy just got, they just got, you know, Rift Hill that's close to me. I need to be a little bit careful. So there's like a brief moment, like 10, 15 seconds where I'll start playing, you know, a little bit scared. But then this is an opportunity for me to do my camps first and then I can go back again because then they sort of like, okay, he's probably gone by now. If he hasn't ganked me by now, he's probably gone. You can use this, this psychological aspect of the game to your advantage and we'll see it here. I don't think that's a control ward. He didn't have a control ward. Alright, see, so yeah, let's see if we can kill top now, actually, real quick. Because bot's just, everyone's just dead bot, unfortunately. Oh, he, he has no, um, no abilities. Is that his ghost? This is flashing ghost. Okay, he actually does have flash up now. So I'm going to pretend to run away here. Fiddlesticks is going to get dragon here. I really want to stick around. But he's pretty smart. Yeah, I just got to go mid here. He knows that I'm here. Again, I've got to win in this lane pretty well. Going to try and... That's a key thing for Eve as well. Don't just stick in stick in a lane forever, you know. Just sit there. Like, once you've shown, they're ready for you. The enemy lane is ready to go. You just reset and go to the other side of the map. You always want to be unpredictable as Eve. We actually see Darius on the map now, and now he's popping up. I mean, there's no way... I don't think he actually comes and tries to fight me because again I'm around potentially so that's pretty ridiculous but again this is a really powerful one that is Eve as well sometimes I see people stick around and try and force things way too hard and now so let's get this item wait can we buy this yeah we can buy this so then let's kill mid okay I actually have no idea what just happened up there um I got must have tried to kill him he had old or something um, but that was pretty ridiculous from Darius. I was potentially still around. Maybe he just forgot. That's pretty rare, but that's all right. Well, this guy will have to use his shroud. Nice. He's actually just killing that. No flashing ghost on the Darius. Get a nice shot down here. Fiddle six is there. Okay, what we're actually going to do here? I know we definitely rift held mid for this, and then we're actually going to kill this guy here. Okay, we should probably back off here. Oh. And we kill this gin. Oh, we should probably back off here. Can maybe re-engage? No? Akali's coming up here, so we need to really run away here. I can't even walk into my jungle camps. That was pretty, pretty risky, I think. 
All right, this almost became a not zero death jungle episode series. There, that was pretty ridiculous. Um, Fiddle six, I dis dis disrespected Fiddle six. I thought I could pop him before I used his abilities, but I, there's no way I could have done that. I didn't have enough damage. Uh, I didn't have my ult, so that was I was very vulnerable there. And again, especially against Threshes around, I could just get CC chain like I did there. So that was pretty ridiculous. Um, again, potentially ruined this uh, this episode of the series. But let's continue on. I think I need to play around charm there. Oh, I should really be killing top here. Again, everyone's low there. There's no reason to take those sort of fights. So let's see if we can... There's always no flash Akali. I'm going to go top here. Just want to break this tower. Oh, no, we just go top. Top's just a free kill. Oh. Be careful. Oh, Fiddlesix is here. We can pick him. Let's go for a quick pickety dick. Oh, where'd he go? Did he loop round? Oh, there he is. Oh, sorry, that must have just been a, a shroud thing. Alright, so... No, no, we should be killing top here, I think. Just get another quick kill on this guy. I just want to keep getting ducks, heal stacks. Wait for Ergot's R. And we're just going to reset for Magi's, which is a very big item spark for us. And we're just going to go play around bot side now. I could come create an efficient jungle path, clear these camps. But, um... I really just need to be... I mean, it's just too inefficient to just walk from here to there. So now I just go bot and look to kill bot. I still have ult. Probably should have just been looking bot there because I need to know what summoner spells are being burnt and what not. So while I'm waiting here, actually, he's setting up for a play. Can maybe come and get a quick pick. No thrashes. Just roam in mid. I'm actually scared of my jungle right now. Where are they all? Yeah, Thresh is here. So, notice again how I'm assessing, I'm taking note, you could easily go on autopilot mode here and be like, oh my camp's up, let's keep doing our camps. Where's the whole other enemy team here? Thresh is missing, Akali's missing, I can't even, I, right now in my mind, I'm conceding my red and my raptors, it's all gone. And look how safely I'm doing my Krugs. So important to understand when when you when it's their camps, it's they, it's their control, They it's all theirs. They can take it. I can't contest it. I need to wait for my team to get back on the map and start pressuring again before I can walk into my jungle. So I'm going to wait till Ezreal and stuff get back on the map. Hmm, yeah, see, they got full control of this. Yeah, Thrush is just there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get a quick pick on Jin. We're very far ahead right now. That was pretty pretty sloppily played, to be honest. Alright, so Thresh wasn't around. So, yeah, free kill on Jin. I mean, we're very far ahead at this point. We have Sork Shoes. I love this combo. Sork Shoes, Magi's, and Rocket Belt. And I'm just going down, just eating, you know, eating up these immobile champs. Free kill, bam. I mean, if Thresh is going to roam like that, we just kill Jin. Oh, oh. Thank you. That was close. Gonna go and take my red here and just full clear jungle. We can just relax. Let's just keep full clear our jungle. We're actually not that far ahead in farm right now. I want to be more levels ahead. So let's just keep up the farm. My bot lane could die to a fiddle six ult. Let's always be tracking fiddle for his ults. And we just want to actually. I just want to secure a mid actually. So let's clear this. I probably should have blue trinket by now.
Just get me tower. And I'm going to look for gin now, actually, real quick. Oh, that's close. I should have missed the initial queue. Alright, so a couple of things I want to note there. Obviously, I mean, that was really close. I almost died again for the second time. This would have been not in the, uh, in the series. But what I want you to note here is my mindset is... Once I get a pick, I'm out of the fight, and what I'm thinking here is who's around the fight that I can potentially miss, like change my position and then look to get a pick on someone who's vulnerable. So right now, Jin, there's no way Jin is ready for me to walk straight away. He thinks that I'm still fighting, like in this little, this little crevice here. But notice how quickly I decide to be like, okay, I'm just going to go kill Jin now because he's alone. He's vulnerable. He, look, I can see where he's ulting from. That's the good thing about Jin. You can see where he's ulting from. So again, let's replay this and note how quickly I decide. Once the pick on Fiddle Six is done, straight to Jin. Straight, I'm, I'm, I'm straight away getting out of the fight, getting reself off. And then I'm looking on targets on flank. I want to flank again. Even if Jin wasn't there, I would still walk around here because I want to flank. I'm not just going to run in there like a madman and keep killing people. That's not what Eve does. Eve's strength is taking people by surprise. And I'm going to look for Jin now, actually, real quick. Oh, that's close. I should have missed the initial queue. Anyway, we got this here. So mechanically, I should have played that. I was right in melee range with him. I should have just thought, opened up with E on the full charm. I don't know why I didn't do that. I was pretty cocky with my Q. And let's reset for... No, I actually want to stay on the map for two whole um, needlessly large rods. So let's just try and sort of highlight just how important not missing your initial Q is. I should have just charmed, just waited for the E and then finished him off. <laughs> So think about there, I'm thinking about the gold that I'm resetting on. Right now, these three camps topside are going to be about 300 gold, 300, 400 gold. So if I clear all these, I'll have enough for two needlessly large rods, which is significantly better than times one. So always take into consideration item spikes, what, how much gold you have, how much gold you can get before you can base as well. All right, let's just get two nearly large rods and then come back on the map, get ready for this this Herald. It's really good TP by got there as well. So identify the next objective. Rift Herald's the next objective here. Dragon's off the map. I want to be playing around top side here. Baron's coming up about a minute 30. I want to set up my vision here. I want to start creating my little camp, my little pick zone in the top side of the map. So we got two of these. We can sell this for a control ward. And then we will get Blue Trinket. Definitely need to focus again on farming here. I mean, I should be approaching, given that I have zero deaths, I should really be at like 140, 150 CS here. That's always just like a ridiculous statement in a way. Like, I feel like this game, again, looking over again, the way I always say that to myself, because I'm always trying to push the bar in terms of efficiency and like doing my camps and how you making sure I have CS to the clock. I'm still pretty happy, like in terms of the way, like, I mean, I had a lot of things I needed to concede, especially, you know, I didn't have the opportunity to double crab, that sort of stuff in the early game. I needed to help my bot lane there. Like there's moments of this game where it's like, okay, it was probably isn't possible for me to be at 180 CS by now. You know, maybe I could be a little bit higher, but again, this game's gone pretty well so far, so I always say that just because it's like I want more farm, more farm, more efficiency, more experience and goal. It's just like a thing for me. And it's a good mindset to have, I think, but sometimes I just throw out statements like this randomly just to keep reminding myself, come on, Nathan, more efficiency. We've got zero deaths. I have spent some time around some pointless fights. Right, we just need to really back off here. But you see, again, pointless fights. I mean, you're going to have to be around there. A fight might, you might have to back off. Like, they're not exactly pointless fights because I need to hover and go to them just in case I have to be there to clean up. So, again, sort of a, a pretty irrelevant statement. No reason to fight at all. This is a very big numbers disadvantage. 
So Ergot's not there. As well as we just let people die, it's all good. I just need to run away. Get a real quick pick there. Thanks for the heal, Ezreal. Another... Oh, actually, sorry. I need to keep playing this. This is... um, This gets pretty close. So another very close encounter where this could have potentially been a not a zero death jungle episode. Uh, I solved all my problems with damage there by like, okay, Darius is trying to ult me. I'm just going to try and burst him before his ult goes off. I'm pretty far ahead. I can get away with that. 25 stacks of Magi's. But if you see right there, like I wasn't thinking about Fiddlesticks. That was a bit of a mistake there. I even said there's no reason to fight right now. So why am I in a vulnerable position to get caught? Especially I didn't have any vision bot side. So this was pretty risky. Bit of a mistake on my end. But what I want you to highlight here is I'm identifying we can't fight. Look at my team. My team weren't on the map just yet. Very close. Let's wait to heal up a little bit. Ergot will just clean this up though. Go for a quick pick on Jin. Not expecting that at all. I'm always looking to do the good old loop round. And now we just take as many jungle camps as we can. Place a blue trinket there, that will stay up a bit, utilize my cooldown. Might as well push top wave. And reset for no death cups thirteen hundred now. I forgot how expensive this item is. Just need to wait for my ultimate. Wait for Aftershock to go. Quick little tip there with Charm against Aftershock type supports and stuff. Don't use all your abilities on them, you know, until they have the Aftershock procs gone. It lasts about, I don't know exactly the timing, but I have a good feel for it. Um, wait for this to go on and then use all your abilities. Because if I was to use all my abilities on Thresh there, you probably wouldn't have died. And we back off, we'll be careful of Fiddlesticks here. Oh, I'm seeing, we just back off, Ergot's resetting, always play around resets. Take the Raptors, counter down as much as we can. Actually, let's see what's going on bot here. Really should be resetting for this is a really big power spike. Right, reset and then we're gonna get Baron as the next objective. And Banshees is gonna be very handy for us against the Fiddlesticks. Dragons, very nice. I didn't really have a nice intention of going Raptors out of base. That was sort of a bit autopilot, I think. Maybe should have gone Krugs and cleared a bit more efficiently. Probably definitely did have time to do Krugs there. Reason being is that my Zillion and Urgot are out of base. I could be have cleared my red, my Krugs. Ezra probably should be on red. I should have told Ezra to get the red. So that was a little bit autopilot. I wasn't really thinking about my teammates. They were in base. I had time. You know, Zed can get this crab, whatever. I don't need to be here to get this. He's taking crab. Yeah, we might as well just get dragon next. Right, no real reason to fight here. Zed is split pushing top, that's why I don't really want to fight here. I mean, I'm going to look for picks possible, but I'm actually happy to potentially concede Dragon if Zed's not here. If he doesn't roam down, I'm thinking about, okay, alright, concede Dragon guys, let's go pressured Baron, and then we can maybe force him to make a bad play, you know, try and they start Dragon, we're just rushing Baron. Just gonna keep hovering mid, but I should be actually hovering Zed in the side lane. Oh, Fiddles went for a blind ult. 
Oh, I can't even walk there. That's a good ward. So Darius might walk up here for this wave. I'm pretty comfortable to go for this. Oh, Ezreal's actually tanking here. He's tanking. Where's Darius? Is Darius just AFK? I oh, know Darius is here. Let's keep countering. So this is a bit odd. Like I think we need to get Baron right now. Everyone's bases keep staggering. People get caught here and there. This is a bit strange, so we just need to just adapt to the chaos. Embrace the chaotic nature of solo queue. So I'm going to say we Baron, guys. But look for picks. I'm going to look for picks. That's what I'm going to do here. So let's get this. I don't really care about controls, to be honest. I'm just going to be getting picks. I just want as much um, AP as possible here. Alright, so this is the key mindset with EVE as well. You're not thinking about objectives in isolation. You're thinking about picks around the objective. They're going to start playing topside because they don't want us to get free Baron. They want to be around here for vision. So I'm thinking about waves here. I'm thinking about how to get pick. So let's take a look at the way that I creatively come up with a pick here. And again, the decisiveness that I come up with it and execute on it with. Pretty close to level 16 as well. Might take these Wolves Gromp then a level 16. I haven't done them for a while. Insta kill them. Probably don't even need this, but we should be pushing now. Always think about side lanes as, as Eve. Side lanes, side lanes, side lanes. Level 16. Always prioritize, you know, level 6, 11, 16. These are really big, big parts, big power spikes. So let's see if we can get a quick pick here. Trying to always hold my ult. Alright, so this is a pick for um, Baron, which is. Alright, so let's go back here. Let's think about why was I in that position in the first place? Why does that pick happen? It wasn't a coincidence. You know, like he may have not been there, but it wasn't a coincidence because right now I'm actually thinking, okay, Darius is going to. He's someone, not even just Darius, someone is going to be wanting to be on this wave that's coming up right now. This is going to be a push in soon. Look at the amount of minions there are. Like you can see it on the minimap here, you don't have to pan for it. There's like four against like six here, or seven or eight. This is going to push in. I want the mindset with Eve is you want to be on the wave before they get there, not as they get there, because they're ready to run away, you know? So again, look at the way now I'm walking onto the wave here, and then get a pick on Darius here, and then we're going to be looking to do Baron off this. Big, big parts, big power spikes. So let's see if we can get a quick pick here. Trying to always hold my ult. All right, so this is a pick for um, Baron, which is really nice. So let's place this. Let's go over the wall. Wait for the charm. Back ping my team in case they know that you know we're on Baron right now. I mean, they don't really need to help us, but just making sure that they, just, they don't die. Ezra should take that. And now we need someone to be bot now. So someone should be bot. Ergot needs to be bot. So I'm going to say Ergot bot. Okay, that's just... Right, so that's the end of the game, but that's the next thing. As soon as you get Baron, think about lane assignments. Who do you want to be hovering? Because what I want now, I want Ergot to go bot and me to hover, hover him. Um, you know, Akali's already, top lane's already pushed up. You want to be pressuring, you know, bot lane there. We probably can just do a 4-1, we find. Even 1-3-1's fine as well. It's a little bit harder to coordinate 1-3-1's in solo queue with Zed. Um, top, I sort of hover around between both top and bot, ergot bot, and then my bot lane mid. Anyway, let's go and look at the post-game review. Alright, so here's the match history from the game. Most damage in the game. What I want you to note here, you probably were going through that and be like, Nathan finished the game 14 kills. Like, it's not like I did anything fancy that game. I wasn't going over just getting the insane triple kills, double kills, penta kills. It was literally just one kill, 
two kills. I just got one kill at a time, three kills, four kills. Farm, kill, farm, kill, objective, farm. There's nothing fancy going on that game. And you'd probably be saying, that, Nathan, I could probably do that. It's pretty good. But if you can, this is great. This is a really clean game as Eve, you know? Also, look at the patience and the way that I adapted in this game. You know, like my bot lane, I mean, let's just go into what went well here. So I'm skipping forward. What went well? Adapting pathing based on what's happening in lane. So um, I needed to adapt. I, my initial Red Krug's Raptors path playing around bot didn't really work too well. I mean, I did have some moment where I, you know, went bot and got a kill um, later. But again, adapting, looking at lane states. Next one here, next real cool thing was identifying the camps. Fiddlesticks has up as soon shown on the map. Counter jungle taking his Raptors straight away. That's when I went and traded flushes with Trader Flusher with the Kali. Patience, 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 patience. That was a free kill on Fiddle Six. Could have easily gotten away. I feel like if I was reviewing an Eve lower Elo Eve player, he would have gotten away because they would have engaged too early and not waited for him to commit to the crab. Like Fiddle Six is there. He's obviously going to do the crab. He's not going to just walk away. You know, he doesn't know where I am. Use my stealth to my advantage. I didn't find how easy Darius was to kill with Urgot. That was such a key thing. That was one of my last priorities in the game, but once Urgot started getting a lead, I'm like, I'm just going to be around there to hover him and just look for easy kills on Darius. Next thing here was in instantly thinking about the next vulnerable targets, middle of the fight. So I got the pick on Fiddlesticks and instantly we're thinking about Jin. Loop around. The speed in which we made that decision is important to getting those type of kills. Identifying gold amounts here was really good there instead of resetting, which I could have easily done just wait on the map for an extra large rod there's nothing important else i had to do get that clear and then that last pick to get Dar on darius said to get baron use the mini waves to get a pick move the, the mindset of moving to a wave before the darius got there someone's going to take that wave be there just as they get there because that's when they get their most vulnerable that's the key mindset here kill people where they're most vulnerable if they know you're around there it's much harder to kill people with eve because eve's pretty easy to get away from a gank to be honest you can play really safe all right, guys, so that's it for this review um, of my gameplay. I hope this was helpful. This was an Eve game. Let me know if you have any questions, as always, and I'll see you in my next video.